So following the events that happened on Tuesday evening between Alpine and its reserve driver Oscar Piastri, it was clear that Piastri had no intention of driving for Alpine in 2023, even though the team put out an announcement saying he would be. I've done another video on this which I'll leave a link to in the description, but a move that is set for him is McLaren, and we all knew this was on the cards, but now it appears to actually be happening, with fresh reports coming out today about Piastri's contract situation and what's happening with McLaren. But before we begin, if you enjoy the video make sure to leave a like and also subscribe for more Formula 1 content, and you can follow me on Twitter at James underscore Formula 1, and there'll be a link in the description. Well as we know, Piastri's future has been the centre of attention this week, after he denied he'd go to Alpine despite the French team confirming he'd replace Fernando Alonso next year. And even though he had links for a loan move to Williams, it's been established that this week he had something on the cards with McLaren, and according to Racing News 365, Piastri will officially replace Daniel Ricciardo at McLaren after agreeing a deal with them. The website says that sources in Australia say he'll join the team in 2023 and partner Lando Norris but Alpine firmly believe Piastri is their driver, with the team saying they felt they were legally correct when they made their statement about Piastri joining the French squad next year. But it's understood that Piastri has a contract with Alpine for 2022, but not for 2023. His 2022 deal was said to contain an option on Piastri's services for 2023, but that option was not exercised within the required 30 days of signing that contract. And to quote the website, it said, the FIA's Contract Recognition Board, where all F1 contracts are checked for validity, is said to have validated Piastri's new contract with McLaren at the expense of his existing deal with Alpine. Well, I did a video on this earlier this week, but it looks like he could be on his way to Alpine. We know the team have to evaluate fallback options for its vacant 2023 F1 seat. I mean, according to Racing News 365, Piastri's deal with McLaren was said to have been finalised on the evening of July 30th, before Fernando Alonso's move to Aston Martin was confirmed on August 1st. And under regulations, according to Racing News 365, Alpine cannot challenge the board's decision, as F1 teams have previously decided that it's the highest body that can rule on contractual matters. Now even though Ricardo has had a patchy spell with McLaren, he's still won several races and that will make him an attractive prospect. The only real problem is that he was hired by Alpine when it was Renault to lead them, but left the team after two years which didn't go down well with them. But while admitting Piastri remains their first choice to partner Rockon, Alpine team boss Hotmar Safnauer told reporters, A lot of drivers have called, and Ricardo is a good recommendation. And on top of that, he's previously said he has no issue bringing Ricardo back to the team. So it's a very interesting turn in development, and it looks very set in stone now that Piastri will be at McLaren next year, and while nothing is set in stone for Ricardo, he could very well be on his way to Alpine. I do feel sorry for Daniel though, like he's made his intention clear that he wants to stay with McLaren, but it looks like that's just not possible for him now. But I do hope a deal goes through that will see him in F1 next year. But what do you think of the situation? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today, thank you ever so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos, and until the next one, take care, bye.